Hi guys, this is Steve with Good Guys to Great Men. Uh, let's talk about today's video topic. This is about uh, something that came up in the men's meetup I talked about in Fort Collins. And we were talking about sex. We were talking about sexual energy. We we're talking about the sex drive we have. We we're talking about how women don't get sometimes that dump of energy we get when we are sexually attracted, sexually aroused, when we have it on our mind, even when we're having sex. We have a part of our brain that takes over and it's not out of our control and that's what I want to talk about. We talked about some of the bad stuff that happens when we allow our sex, sexuality and our sex drive to take over and we talked about what happens when we're back in our mojo, even in the middle of a sexual arousal and desire, but we have control over it. There's good stuff that happens when we have our mojo and then there's bad stuff. I called it the good and the evil during the meeting. I don't mean the biblical evil, I'm just talking about bad stuff that happens when we don't have control over our sexuality. So on the whiteboard behind us, on this flip chart, I drew a picture of a stick man like I did at the meeting. And I just want to real quickly go through the mindset change between allowing the sex drive and sexual desire and sexual stimulation and thoughts about sex to create uh, bad stuff, bad mojo for us. And so we brainstormed some words that came out of what happens when we have bad mojo during sexual stimulation. Here's some of the words that came up. Anger and fear. Fear of, of rejection. Fear of initiating. Fear of being a creep. Fear of being a pervert. Insecurity. Feeling like we have to control. Feeling distrust. Feeling judgment. Feeling dominance. Some other words that came out. Feeling aggressive. Feeling violent. Feeling negativity. Lying, cheating on our spouse or girlfriend, irresponsibility, laziness, immaturity. But we talked about a very positive thing that happens when a man is in his mojo and he has control over that. Good stuff can happen when we're in our sexual mojo if we're thinking about the positive stuff that comes from sexual energy. And it's not all this stuff. The guys came up with words when they were having a great day, a very sexual day, even if they weren't having sex, but they were thinking about it. They stayed away from the evil stuff. And here are some of the words they came up for the good stuff. They talked about channeling sexuality to feelings of positivity, channeling the, the drive and the energy that comes with sexual desire and attraction to motivation, to non-sexual things, work projects, productivity, creativity. In the book, The Way of the Superior Man by David Dita, he talks a lot about creativity coming from our sexual center. They can channel this type of energy into focus, into being efficient, feeling worthy, feeling masculine, feeling confident. So next time you're feeling the rush, you're feeling the rush with your woman, you're by yourself, think about how you're going to harness that energy. Think of it like an engine that can help you choose to go toward positivity, motivation, productivity, creativity, direction, focus, efficiency. This is where we want to live. This is the, the man we want to be. And when we're doing this, we're in our power. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you next week.